Hey, Master Gardeners, come on over. We've got an exotic native tree for you to look at that's in full bloom. Right now we're in late August in Maryland. We're in zone seven. This is a tree native all the way up to zone five. Come and look because it's in it's not endangered. It's actually not present at all anywhere in the United States anymore. And it's got an exciting horticultural history. I know a lot of you master gardeners already know what this is. Look at these gorgeous flowers. It could have been given the common name American Camellia. That would have been a perfect name, but it's named Franklinia, named after Ben Franklin. And what a and fabulous history, because this was discovered along the Altamaha River in Georgia by the Bartrams. The Bartrams were designated to be royal botanist for North America by King George in 1765. And so they were out searching for pretty exotic, cool plants. And they found a two to three acre plot down along the bottom lands of the Altahoma River in Georgia. And they were, I, I can only guess, it was probably in the glorious bloom like it is now when they discovered it. But they found the tree and they were fascinated by it and collected seeds. Well, guess what? Within 40 years of that time, the tree became extinct. And we don't fully understand why it's become extinct, but nobody has ever found the plant again in the United States. Which means what? Where did this tree come from? Every tree that exists in the world today are all descendants of John and William Bartram. All of it, the seeds that they collected down in Georgia, they carried them back to Philadelphia. The interesting part of the story is too that they named, the son William is actually the one that discovered this cool tree. And when he discovered it, he named it after his dad, John Bartrams, named it after their best friend, who was Ben Franklin. And that's why the science name for the plant is Franklinia. It's a genus of which there's no other species except for this one. And this one's, the species name is named after the river in Georgia. Uh, Altohama is the name of the river, and that's the species name of it, Franklinia alatama ha. And so kind of a, you know, if you live in Georgia, I guess you can pronounce that, but here in Maryland, that's a hard one to roll off your lips, you know. But anyway, an awesome Franklin tree. Now, I hope you get a chance to look at some pollinators. We've been waiting for the morning sun. Let's look up in here and see if any little stinkers are gonna land on our tree in front of us. Now, the cool part is the family that lives here, they're both horticulturists and they love plants and they've collected seeds. So you can collect the seeds. Come on over to this side of the tree. Maybe we'll see some. Oh, there goes a bee right there. It's been loaded with bees and butterflies. And just a few minutes ago, we saw hummingbirds on it. Here's a bumblebee coming in over here on the right. Fortunately, my videographer is pretty tall, so maybe he'll be able to zoom in. Oh, good. A couple. Oh, yeah, there's a couple of bees flying in. So they collected seeds from it. They have random success with their seeds. But it is possible to sow seeds and it also can be propagated by vegetative cuttings. And I'll give you another story. This tree is hard to take care of. It's a finicky little rascal. It hates being transplanted. I put in three in my yard. Every one of them I've lost. Even my friend here says that she works at Ledoux and they lost theirs. If you go to Longwood Gardens, you can find this gorgeous tree there. They have two or three of them there near the main house. And so you can see them in bloom. Also, if you're a local Harvard County person, you can find one in the courtyard at Hartford Community College. So it's not one that can be found very frequently. It is a rare plant to even see. So if you're a horticulturist, you might enjoy finding one of these. What an awesomely cool native plant, super with pollinators. It's even described as like egg yolk in its colors. Doesn't it look like an egg? It's cup shaped. You'll see the green leaves really have no teeth on the rim, but just a little bit of waviness on them. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a pawpaw, the way the, the leaves kind of droop a little bit. It's in the family of camellias. That's why the flower looks like camellia. The family's the ACE, and it's all, the camellias of Asia are all related to it. So an awesome native tree that you're gonna need in your garden, master gardeners. Hey, include it in your garden.